Let's get 2025 started with a simple project. About the simplest radio project you can build is a Morse key. And if you build one, you can be sending decent Morse up to about 15 words a minute, at a cost the fraction the price of a bought key. A Morse key is just a simple momentary switch. There's almost nothing to it. You can build it from scrap material you may have around the house. In this case, I'm going to be using a piece of thin chopping board as the base. It's about three millimeters, maybe four millimeters thick. As the contact, I'll just be using a drawing pin. I will need an actuator, which is just a springy metal strip. It could be brass, though I'm using a cut down piece of hacksaw blade. I only needed to make a cut across here. You might be able to snap it with pliers. Just make sure you're wearing goggles in case bits fly everywhere. And it can be quite sharp, but you can use a file to round it off. And it's about six centimeters or so long. And then we've just got uh, a spacer, another piece of chopping board, a bit thicker, probably about five millimeters thick. And then screw, nut, a terminal lug here, and then a plug and short cable suitable for your transceiver. Really very little to it. You only need to drill a couple of holes and you should be able to make it within an hour. And I'll just give you a comparison of another key that I use. This is a much older key. You've seen it in other of my videos. And I've sometimes used this portable and pedestrian mobile. It's a somewhat different construction. You can see there's a spring in there. I've got a screw for contacts, piece of circuit board and chopping board and a much fatter strip of aluminium for the main actuator arm. Anyway, it's probably about twice as heavy. This is a smaller key so it lends itself to lightweight portable operating. And if you're into iambic keyers then Maybe you can do something that's side to side and has two drawing pins. But I prefer just the up and down key, so I just need one drawing pin for the contact. Let's see if I can put this together with one hand. Now there are two contacts to the key. The earth should be connected to the actuator arm and the non-earth connection to the small drawing pin contact. If you wanted to, you could just solder it to the head of the drawing pin and have the wire underneath, or you could maybe solder the wire to the lower part of the pin might be a good idea just to tin that pin so you don't need as much heat. That's important because the chopping board material can melt very easily if you're not careful.
Something that's important is good electrical contact. So you do need to sand the hacksaw blade. This is the completed key. Quite slim and about as simple as you can get. But there are some refinements. You might want to put some rubber adhesive on the bottom. That makes the key a bit more stable. Just to reduce the gap between the contacts, you can, if you want, tie a bit of elastic. That reduces the spacing and may permit easier sending at faster speeds. And if you need to have it key down for any reason, then just move the elastic down and then you're transmitting continuously. This also permits finer spacing adjustment. This is very, very light. And if we move it back, then the gap is much bigger. So you can vary the gap, I'd say between about half a millimeter and two millimeters, just by moving the position of the elastic. And if you want to anchor the cable, just put a dab of glue here. Enjoy these videos? Want to start in amateur radio? Well, check out my books. Ham Radio Get Started for USA readers and the Australian Ham Radio Handbook for those in Australia. For more information, visit my website vk3ye.com or search their titles on Amazon.